Musicians often use a tempo reference when recording. In most modern music genres, when live drums are used, drummers record their performance whilst listening to a metronome or a click track. When electronic drums are used, they are often recorded or programmed first and then quantized to a grid so that they follow a constant tempo. The other musicians later record their parts whilst listening to the drum track. Still, some musicians prefer to play to their own beat and record their instrumental tracks without following a metronome, click track or drum track. When recording audio in Logic, you can set up a smart tempo to analyse the recording and automatically create a tempo map that follows the performance so that the notes end up on the correct bars and beats. Subsequent recordings or MIDI programming can then follow that tempo map, ensuring that all tracks play in sync. So choose File and New, and an empty track project template opens, and the new dialog opens, and in the new dialog track, ensure that audio is selected and click Create. Choose Input 2 for my guitar. To make Logic analyze the audio recording and to create a corresponding tempo map, you should set the project tempo mode to adapt. Below the tempo value, click the project tempo map, choose adapt, which I've just done. And the global tempo track opens and the tempo curve is shaded in orange. The orange color indicates that those parameters will be affected by the new recording. So get ready to record. You can sing or play. I'm going to play a bit of guitar. So here we go. press stop. Because the project tempo mode is set to adapt, the metronome does not automatically play unlike the project tempo mode set to keep mode. So you no longer need it. Because you have no time reference, you needn't rush. You can choose to start performing whenever you're ready. Try playing something that has an obvious rhythmic quality to it, such as a staccato rhythm part in which you can clearly distinguish the individual chords or notes. During the recording, Logic displays red vertical lines over the recording when it detects a beat. So I've done that, I'm gonna click stop. And an alert offers to open the file tempo editor so that you can preview the recording and adjust the position of the beat markers that Logic creates when analyzing the file. So I'm going to click Don't Show. And in the Global Tracks Tempo map, you can see the multiple tempo changes. This new tempo map reflects the tempo at which you played during the recording. And unless you're a human metronome, chances are good that the tempo fluctuates from bar to bar, and sometimes even from beat to beat. In the global tempo track, you can see multiple tempo changes. This new tempo map reflects the tempo at which you played during the recording. And unless you're a human metronome, chances are good that the tempo fluctuates from bar to bar, and sometimes even from beat to beat. Let's see how close Logic got to detecting the tempo of your performance. So go back to the beginning, press K to turn on the click, or press the metronome button, and press play. If you're lucky, the metronome follows the tempo of the performance and sounds in sync with your recording. If you're unlucky, Logic got it wrong and the results can be messy. In that case, perform this exercise again, making sure you can hear a strong rhythmic reference in your recording. For example, try tapping a very basic beat with your fingers in front of the microphone. 
You have now recorded a rubato performance without listening to a timing reference. Logic automatically detects your tempo changes and applies them to the project tempo. You've only just begun to scratch the surface of what can be done with smart tempos, which we'll explore in future lessons.